Thank you for checking out our channel. Just so you know, if you are looking for affordable and quality housing, you can always check out our website www.az-housing.com. It will be in description. Temporary housing allows you to select a home, click book, pack a small bag, and go. But what does temporary accommodation mean in practice, and how does it work for the potential renter? Whether you're traveling or relocating, temporary housing can offer both flexibility and convenience without the stress of something permanent. Temporary housing. The basics. So, exactly what is temporary housing? Temporary housing, also sometimes called corporate housing, is a term used in the relocation industry. It refers to renting a furnished apartment, condo, or home to someone, for a short period of time. There are various types of temporary housing, including extended stay hotels, traditional hotels, and rental homes and apartments. As you've most likely guessed, temporary housing is ideal for those looking for an in-between lodging option. It's often used by traveling nurses, business professionals, military and government personnel, and people who are moving. Today, temporary lodging is also used for long-term vacation rentals. Temporary housing comes with a wide range of benefits and offers flexibility and convenience when you need it most. In some cases, it covers all your bases, from utilities to bath products, so all you have to worry about is showing up. Types of temporary housing. As we mentioned, there are several different ways to go when selecting the temporary housing option that's right for you. They'll all give you a place to put down some temporary roots, but each will offer something different in terms of amenities, comfort, and price. Extended Stay Hotels Extended Stay Hotels offer long-term hotel stays for business travel, relocation, and family vacation. One of the most well-known brands you'll hear of when discussing what is a temporary accommodation is Extended Stay America. With over 600 hotels across the U.S. and more than 69,000 rooms, they have the largest number of extended-stay hotels in the United States. They're a traditional pick for extended-stay hotels as guests tend to know what they'll get. A full-sized fridge, free Wi-Fi, flat-screen TV, on-site laundry facilities, and free grab-and-go breakfast. You'll also find pet-friendly accommodations and pools, hot tubs, and fitness centers at certain locations. Extended stay hotels around the country vary and can range from inexpensive options to those that are more luxurious. Traditional hotels. Some people go the route of traditional hotels for their temporary housing solution. If you only need your lodging for a few days, this can be a good option. However, the price of regular hotels will add up fast. And although the perks, like on-site restaurants and daily housekeeping, can be nice, they can also be costly. Typically, when travelers want to know more about what is temporary housing, they're looking to branch out of the traditional hotel world and book something more budget-friendly that's set up for a slightly longer stay. Rental Homes and Apartments Today, there is a bounty of rental homes and apartments available for temporary lodging. Whether you're on a short-term assignment and want a place near the office or looking for a single-family home with a yard, rental homes and apartments offer flexibility. If you're curious about what temporary accommodation means when it comes to homes and apartments, we like to say it stands for comfort. Each rental unit and the rental company will be different, so before you book, there are a series of things to consider. Things to consider before booking. Before you book a temporary housing accommodation, make a mental checklist of what's important to you. Here are some things to be aware of before you click the book button. Size. Temporary housing can range in size from small studios to big houses with backyards. The size you want will most likely depend on whether you are relocating solo, with friends, or with your family. Once you fine-tune how much square footage you want, you can quickly narrow down your results by location. Price. Price is a huge factor to consider when deciding what type of temporary housing to look for. Fancier apartment complexes with more amenities will typically be more expensive than those that are more casual. A tiny hotel room will be cheaper than a hotel suite. A single-family home in a desirable neighborhood will be more expensive than an apartment. 
From amenities, to size, to location, price can vary a lot, so knowing your price range can help you narrow down options. Amenities. Every lodging location has different amenities. Some may offer a full-size resort-style pool and a gym, while others have a community dog park or basketball court. Certain units may have in-home laundry or private outdoor space. Communities might offer coffee in the lobby or weekly happy hours for their residents. In some buildings, you'll even find restaurants and coffee shops on site. If you're planning to live in temporary housing, it's good to focus on what's important to you and your family. Location. Location is a big thing to consider when booking a temporary accommodation. Some travelers have to be in a specific location, like a doctor who works in New York City or a writer on location in Los Angeles. Others don't have to be quite as location specific and can instead branch out to the suburbs, where it may be cheaper, or choose a city with a lower cost of living. If you have flexibility with your location, take a look at what you can get in various areas when considering your budget ideal home size, and desired amenities. Questions to ask about your short-term rental. Now that you're more familiar with exactly what is temporary accommodation, you can familiarize yourself with important questions to ask when renting an apartment. In many cases, what you see is what you get, but in others, there can be disappointments hidden beneath the surface. Luckily, if you come prepared with a series of all the right questions, you can set yourself up for success. Is the extended stay space furnished or unfurnished? What else is provided in the space? Is the kitchen equipped with dishes and cookware? Is there a property manager on site or do you provide virtual property management? Are there any specific packages you provide? Is insurance included? Do you give discounts for longer stays? I.e. two-month stay versus a three-month stay. How long can you stay at extended stay if you wish to prolong your rental? What is the security deposit, and is it refundable? Can I bring pets, and if so, what is the pet deposit or monthly pet rent? How do I go about receiving mail and packages at my temporary housing space? Is the rental considered an apartment, condo, or house? What exactly is included in the rent? Make sure to ask about utilities and usage. What happens in the case of a maintenance emergency? Will there be any planned construction in the building during my stay? What is the policy on overnight guests and visitors? What do you bring to a temporary residence? Before you pack your bags, make sure to find out what's included in your temporary residence. This will spare you the frustration of packing up the car to find out you already have everything you need. These days, many temporary housing accommodations come fully furnished. Yours may already include things like sheets, towels, and cooking utensils. In most cases, you want to think in similar terms as you would for how to pack for a long trip. For many people, this includes clothing, medications, electronic devices, work materials, like notepads and planners, important documents, books, and toiletries. Consider things that bring liveliness to your day to day routine. For example, if you're a painter, you may want to bring along some paints and canvas. A golfer may want his clubs. A budding chef may want a particular knife or a collection of unique spices. Before you pack the belongings up that you'll be bringing, get an inventory checklist from your manager or rental company. From there, you can ask yourself whether or not the item you're considering is completely necessary. Now that you know precisely know what does temporary accommodation means, you can decide whether it's a fit for you and your lifestyle. Temporary housing versus extended stays. The need for temporary housing may arise suddenly, or it may be planned for months in advance, but in either case, it is the best option for people who need a comfortable home for an extended period. The term, temporary housing, may conjure images of cramped quarters and barely enough amenities, but quality is relative here. Modern short-term rentals are now class of residential properties. In other words, properties that are comparable, or superior, to high-end hotels. Five reasons to consider temporary housing. Temporary housing is a general term that doesn't properly describe its potential for professionals and families. Here's five of the main reasons to consider temporary housing. 
temporary housing provides needed flexibility. Most industries and government institutions are constantly moving their human resources all over the country. Sometimes this is a permanent arrangement, but most times it's only temporary. Project managers, consultants, specialists, military personnel. These are the kinds of people whose skills are in regular demand, so their presence is needed as well. Once they're done with their current assignment, they will be on the road again. For organizations that rely on these professionals, it's expensive and taxing to lean on a short-term residential solution like a hotel. Hotels are not suited and designed with longer-term visitors in mind. They are built for the weekend vacationer or the traveler who needs a place to sleep, but busy professionals need more. A long-term lease is impractical given the shorter timeline that these people operate on. Most apartments and homes want a longer commitment than organizations need, making them an impractical option. Temporary housing offers that perfect medium between a hotel and a traditionally leased home or apartment. Designed to adapt to the professionals and organization's residential needs, these units can be rented out for as little as a month or for years, depending on what the organization needs. Floor plans, amenities and costs are calibrated to this arrangement so it's a targeted residential solution. Temporary housing is a perfect option when testing out new hires. Some industries prefer their newest members to go through a test run prior to hiring. It's tough to know what medical interns, business interns and creative professionals will provide before they are thrust into the role. When handling such personnel, it's risky for the company to pay for a relocation or provide a full housing allowance before their new hire is proven. What makes more sense is to maintain a close relationship with a locator service. Short-term housing can be set up rapidly and will provide the professional with the environment they need to succeed. If a company expects to give multiple applicants a tryout before settling on a permanent hire, short-term rentals offer a simple residential option for both applicant and organization. Temporary housing can also help professionals feel out their new surroundings and determine whether a job is right for them. In doing so, they will usually bring their family, which means a larger residence is mandatory. Temporary housing can provide relief to displaced families. These rentals are not just for business professionals. It is also a primary backup should a household experience sudden misfortune. Natural disasters like floods and fires are obvious reasons why a family may be driven to a short-term rental, but pest infestation, loss of job, long-term illness and medical treatment, and the loss of a loved one may leave a family with few good options. Short-term housing can help these families either transition to a new, permanent residence, or stay until their home has been restored. Temporary housing offers superior comfort and amenities compared to hotels. Again, reputable residential solution providers only deal in class of properties. These are the cream of the crop, the best on the market. Each residence is fully furnished with modern furnishings and fully provisioned for a longer-term stay. This includes essentials like cookware, glassware, linens, utensils and the like. In most cases, the only thing the resident needs to bring is clothing and any personal belongings they'd like to have on hand. Short-term apartments are upscale, so residents can expect a kitchen, a living room, an expanded bedroom, often with a king-size bed a dedicated area for getting work done, and laundry appliances in the unit. Many providers include bi-weekly housekeeping services for added convenience. Temporary housing is cost-effective. All of this flexibility and comfort must come at a premium, right? Surprisingly, these rentals are usually less expensive than extended-stay hotels, and by a considerable margin. Upscale hotels have powerful brand presence and additional marketing channels to advertise their product, driving up demand and, therefore, price. Hotels also charge a tax for people staying more than 30 days, which increases the final cost. Short-term accommodations aren't advertised heavily, so apartment complexes with temporary residences are willing to compete on price, much to the consumer's benefit. As long as the consumer has a trusted partner on their side, Temporary housing offers an unbeatable combination of lower costs with better amenities and maximum comfort. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.